getting my shot and I would have recorded while I was getting it done but I was anxious and your girl had to breathe okay um but I got the first shot y'all I 
wish I could show y'all. Let me see. If y'all could see the band aid. Can y'all see it? No? Well, let me hold it with this hand. There we go. So, I got the first shot, and they say we have to sit here and wait like 15, 20 minutes to make sure that we're not um, having difficulty breathing, swelling in your face and throat, a fast heartbeat, a rash, dizziness, and weakness. Um, so, so yeah. I'm about to read this little fact sheet that I get, that they gave us and um, sit here and just wait. I'm about to show y'all kind of how it looks in here. Um, they have different stations. I did it through Novant and um, yeah, it's like, you know, they got they in order, okay? Um, like I said, I did get the Pfizer. She set my appointment um, and the next time that I have to come is um, June 4th, so. And that's a Friday. So yeah, I'm about to show y'all kind of how it looks in here and how the waiting area looks and things like that. I got my shot sticker and um my what is this button pen oh pen it's so cute it says got my shot for those i love nova health covid fighter oh how cute um <clears throat> and y'all as i was looking through this fact sheet first off where is the ac because it is hot okay hot um when i was looking through this uh back sheet all i keep seeing is it's approved for emergency use it's approved for emergency use but it's not 100 percent proven to like stop stop it is that the same way that the flu shots are because you can get a flu shot and still get the flu so is it just i guess medically approved to be given out even though you could still like get it. I don't know, I'm confused. Um, but yeah, so let me tell y'all some of the side effects it says that you're gonna have. It says that you could potentially have injection, sight pain, tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, fever, inject injection site swelling, injection site redness, nausea, feeling unwell, or swollen lymph nodes. And y'all, I don't know if I should be feeling it immediately, but I low-key feel like, this is your lymph nodes, lip, lip nodes, right? Like up in here, right? Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know, but I know up in here it feels weird. But then again, y'all, I'm a little dramatic. So I don't know if, I feel, if I'm feeling it or like if my mind is feeling it, if that makes sense. Um... But yeah, and then the reason why I had to sit there is because they had to make sure I didn't have all these other things, which is difficulty breathing, swelling of your face and throat, fast heartbeat, a bad rash all over your body, dizziness, and weakness. I can't remember if I said that in there. Um, but yeah, the person who did my shot was really nice. Um, the staff was really nice. I knew what I was doing, what I was expected to do from the time that I went in um, all the way until the time that I left. So I will say that Novant Health is a good provider to go through if you are wanting to get your shot. Um, but yeah, so mine is done. I'm going to keep y'all posted on how I'm feeling probably later on today. Um, but right now, I'm about to go get some food because I haven't ate anything. And I know I don't want to think that the Pfizer is making my head hurt when it could. But my head could also be hurting if I don't, you know, eat something. So, I'm about to go find me something to eat. I also have to stop at, um, like, a beauty supply store because I need some more got to be spray, some more gel and maybe like one or two pairs of lashes um and where else do i need to go i think that's it i low-key want a smoothie y'all 
um from smoothie king and it's friday so you know it's only five dollars um but yes yeah, so i think that's what i am about to do i just got to make sure that they make it the right way because the last time i went and bought a smoothie it was too much banana in it and y'all i do not like i like a little bit banana but not too much banana i might just say scratch that whole idea and go get me some subway and then to the beauty supply store and then to the house that might be the moons but yes, I will definitely catch back in with you guys later on after I have a after I'm chilling to let you guys know how I'm feeling. But I did say, you know, that I feel like this is up in here. It's like, it's like tight. I don't know how to describe it. Like it's not causing me to not be able to breathe. Like I can breathe fine, but it just feels really like, not thick, but swollen. I mean, swollen that's the word and then i keep feeling on my arm to see like if it's feeling any pain but i'm not feeling anything right now it low-key feel a little numb but they say exercise it out and now make it you know so i'm gonna do a little one two <laughs> and yeah we're gonna go from there so let me not keep boring y'all but i'll catch back up later okay bye hey you guys it has officially been three weeks and today i got my second dose of Pfizer to complete the whole you know treatment or whatever vaccine so yeah I'm just going to give y'all a little bit of information on um you know how this one goes y'all already know how the first one went um the lady said to expect probably some of the same symptoms or it could be absolutely none of them because your body has already adjusted to it so um yeah i guess we'll see from here but yeah y'all when she was giving me that shot she was hurting me like she was like i'm gonna do it real quick she was like one two boom and i was like oh y'all if y'all know me i do not like shots not at all so i'm glad to be done with this whole process i'm ready to get these next like two days out the way hopefully i'm feeling okay and i'm able to you know still function because i still got things to do this weekend um but yeah I'm going to let y'all know if something changes or if I'm feeling some type of way. And I'll get back to y'all in a little bit.